Oh, it's Carter. Yep, there you go. Goodness. Oh my god, and it's <laughs> Oh my god, he's still there. Damn, Steven Spielberg hates Spanish people. Oh boy. <laughs> he hates Latinos and he hates bald men. I'm never meeting Steven Spielberg, I guess. He's going to see you and be like, "I hate, I hate you. you." I wish I had a T-Rex right now. You know what I'd do to you if I had a T-Rex right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's so big. Oh my it's god. Huge. You tell me they don't bring him back for any of the Jurassic World movies? What a disappointment. No, Alex, not having a bachelor party. There's all his friends are animals. So she was going to get married, and now she's dead. I would sue Jurassic World, be like, you took the love of my life away from me. I would sue Jurassic World for having no real dinosaurs at this park. <laughs> Why is everything CGI? But to reward you for getting this far, we have a giveaway. What? A giveaway in the Ooh, middle of a commentary? A giveaway? Well, we're here again. You know the vibes. It's the Lost World Jurassic Park. It's not Jurassic Park 2, okay? Because that would just be too crazy. That kid gets murked. Good lord. She had it coming, brother. That's right. That's what happens when you don't listen to your parents. God, look at those waves. Yeah. Look at this shot. It's a real place, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the best cuts of all time. That's so great. We need more cuts <laughs> like that in movies. Oh, is that Eli Roth right there? Did you see that? Oh, it's those kids from that movie. Oh, they're back. Oh, my God. <laughs> I clapped. I clapped when I saw it. Wow, you can tell Janusz Kaminski really shot this movie. You can tell. Why is that? Look at the light. It's so <laughs> white. Yep, I knew it. This man has a style and he sticks to it. Van Owen, who's a video documentarian. Vince Vaughn is in this movie. I forgot. Uh, we have a paleontologist. Oh, What's her name's in this movie, too? Julianne Moore. This movie's kind of stacked with actors. Damn, Julianne Moore was in this and in Boogie Nights in the same year? That's range. Look at the blocking. Mm hmm He used this entire room. So far, this movie's not really bad. No, it's good. I love this scene. I love the way it's blocked. I love the way it's shot. The lighting is, you know, it's a different conversation, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I think Giannis is very hit or miss. Sometimes the brightness works, but a lot of the times it just feels like he just wants to do it. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, you want some good parental advice? Don't listen to me. Blocking. Nice family drama. You saw The Shadow? That was nice. I don't know. People really be saying this movie's bad. Yeah, I know. I have this at a five. Every time I see this movie, I'm like, wow, do I really think this movie's mid? And then by the end of it, all the time, I'm like, yeah, this movie's mid. I don't know why, <laughs> but we'll find out. I don't know. I'm a different boy now. Las Cinco Muertes. That's the five deaths. Ooh, is it? Yeah. And why do rich British people go there if it's called that? <laughs> why do you think? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Look at these shots, though. Damn, the weather was weathering that day. <laughs> Congratulations. A single Mertes. What, what, what does that mean? Five deaths. Hey, look at you go. I mean, I set it on the map. Look at all these dumbass English speakers not knowing shit. Look at this practical truck and cars. Yeah, these are real cars in a real movie. You see that, John Watts? The Lost World Jurassic Park brought to you by Mercedes Benz. Yo, that truck and that scene with the T Rexes, do you remember? Oh my gosh. What a moment. You really said this is a bad movie? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> It'll get mid at some point. We'll be like, damn. How many Sarahs do you think are on this island? <laughs> <laughs> they look good. You can see, you know, the seams a little bit, mm -hmm. but it looks cool. I think one of the main criticisms of this movie, from what I remember, is that it starts off exactly the same way. We're, we're going over the same beats is basically mm -hmm. the main criticism. Their faces look differently lit than the rest of their body. You saw that, right? Like the lights are a lot hotter on their face than they are with, I mean, that's a choice. That was weird. What's the name of the dude that does that, that you said? I forgot. Janusz Kaminski. He's, he's been Spielberg's DP since Schindler's List. Cute. Nice. What a cutie patootie. It looks so good. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. I don't even care if we're treading over the same beats. Shut up, critics. I'm the critic. I like it. <laughs> it's cool. Julianne Moore just on set, <laughs> reacting to nothing. That was real. Oh, they don't play around. Couldn't get a shot of them leaving? No. Nope. Guess not. Ran out of money. It's, it's privacy outside. No, 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 what are you? Hey, 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 don't go out there. It's not safe. Stay in here. Come back. With its back on, which is perfect for absorbing impact. Goodness. God damn. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, the effects are affecting. Oh, this is real. Nope, that's, that's visual effects. No, that's practical. No, it's not. 
There's no way. No, I'm telling you, that was that was the sunlight. Come on, you gotta know the first two rules of CGI. Nighttime and lens flares. We're already here, let's go. Now they have to put the kid in the high hide. Oh yeah, true. Build up. Then we're there, yeah. Oh, this is the high hide right here. <laughs> I got Hurry up, man. Let's go. Go, 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 come on. Bro, please muscle him. Like, <laughs> That should have been plan A. That's so cool. Yeah, that looks amazing. Close the door. Bro, Close shut the door. That thing up. Oh my gosh. Uh, there we go, Eddie. What's the what's the frequency for the boats, by the way? Fifteen trip eights. It's third from the top. I mean, isn't it raining? Why is it so <laughs> quiet? Right? Yeah. I want to hear the rain. This sequence is about the sound. There's no music playing. Okay, I had the volume a little bit too low. I can hear it better now. But still, it should be louder. <laughs> it's kind of noticeable. It looks like a torrential downpour. They're not even that wet. Goodness. Here we go. Why did they park right next to a cliff? Hey, at least it starts as a cliff and ends at a cliff. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's true. And there's two. Two Jurassic, two park. You think Ian Malcolm would have learned at this point not to move. They look so good. That's fucking terrifying. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's a big face. <laughs> Bro, get back in the truck right now, please. Hang on to something! Hang on to something! They fly now? <laughs> they fly now. Yeah, they fly now. Oh hell no, they've been flying since the, the Clone Wars. All right, so this sequence is obviously a standout in the film, but I just love how they raise the stakes. Every part of the sequence is about what if it got worse? Mm -hmm. What if the T-Rex comes? Okay, well, the T-Rex is here. Well, now there's two T-Rexes. Okay, well, we got to bring the T-Rex out. Okay, it's fine. Okay, well, what if they were mad? Well, what if they were over the cliff? Well, what if there was glass and it's about to break and they have nowhere to go and it just gets worse? <laughs> this is a bad movie, though. <laughs> is it? Not really. Kind of good. We'll see. We have an hour left. Oh, what they do to this man is insane. I love it. After this sequence ends, I'm gonna go pee. I just I just wanna watch this though. <laughs> Ooh, that camera be camera in. Yeah, it does. Damn, look at that. He did it on the second try. Let's go. Ooh, it hasn't cut once yet. And it's yeah. going through the truck now? Oh gosh. Yeah. There's no way this movie is bad. <laughs> There's no way. That's the power of crane shots. I love cranes. Oh my god, it's going all the way. What a shot! <laughs> wow! That was, like, so great. <laughs> wow. Ooh, and it's slipping too? You were right. The stakes keep raising. <laughs> yeah, this movie's kind of fire flames. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We're, we're, we're at this. <laughs> I mean. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh my gosh. <laughs> my bladder's about to explode, so if the T Rexes can come here and merc this guy really quick, that would be preferable. <laughs> this man is blowing steam out of his nose. Yo, what's up with Steven Spielberg and murdering bald men with, with the T-Rex, <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh my God. Oh man, oh, he got eaten alive. All this is made for children. Our infrared show their nesting sites are concentrated in the island interior, which is why we plan to keep to the outer wait, rim. Wait, wait a minute, what's that? Veloc Velociraptor, carnivore, pack hunter. But you heard how the Velociraptors are still feared in this movie? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? <laughs> Better pets in Jurassic World. What are you trying to tell World? Carl and Trevorrow? He doesn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I think this movie would improve if that safari sequence, if they just cut that either completely mm. or in half, I feel like this would move so much faster because at this point we're being introduced to these characters with them interacting with our main characters. They're showing us the same information twice. It's not as seamless as it was in the first film. Where are you? Hey, Carter! Why did he travel so far away to go to the bathroom? How is he lost? How do you get lost? Well, this is a lost world, Jurassic Park. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> yeah, oh he's getting bodied. Oh, hey, yo. <laughs> nice. Steven is Spielberging right now. Oh my god. Cool, you saw it in the Ooh, wide my shot. Gosh. Yes. <laughs> I love movies. We come to AMC theaters to laugh, to cry, to scream. Because we needed that, all of us. That indescribable feeling we get when the water starts to ripple and we go somewhere 
that we've definitely been before. Steven put his whole spiel bussy into this one. Oh my <laughs> god, dude. Ooh, look at the shot of its eye. All right, Janusz Kaminski, I'll just don't listen to anything I've ever said about your lighting ever. Oh, it's Carter. Yep, there you go. Goodness. Oh my god, and it's <laughs> Oh my god, he's still there. Damn, Steven Spielberg hates Spanish people. Oh boy. <laughs> he hates Latinos and he hates bald men. I'm never meeting Steven Spielberg, I guess. He's going to see you and be like, "I hate, I hate you. you." I wish I had a T-Rex right now. You know what I'd do to you if I had a T-Rex <laughs> right now? <laughs> Damn, I can't wait to watch the third film. That'll be fun. I haven't watched that in so long. Yeah, me too. That one's rated R too, so that's going to be wild. That is not rated R. Yes, it <laughs> there is. There's no way. Yeah, it is. Don't even look it up. You'll see. You'll just know. you be like, wow, that's a lot of blood. Actually, look it up. I want to hear your reaction. It's PG-13. What? Yeah. I hate it here. No way. <laughs> I, Dude, yeah. that movie is, is rated R. I don't care what anybody says. Hey, you! The raptor was like, me? I mean, how do you feel about that moment? It's something, I guess. I don't know. The raptors are kind of stupid in this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was something. That sequence was kind of silly. Oh my god. Where's the crew? Oh, this part makes no sense. How did this happen? I was thinking maybe it could have been the baby, but the baby's not there. So then how did this happen? Like, nothing else is on board. I don't... whatever. It just... yeah, there's a lot of questions. It would probably be better if it just was already out. Could you imagine just looking outside, see the... A Tyrannosaurus Rex walking around. I used to think about that all the time. Look at the visual effects here, though. Oh my god. If you really want to stop us, shoot us. What if they did? Oh, it's all in one shot. I love it. That's right. Don't cut your camera. Yeah, don't cut. I love this. <laughs> How is it not making sense? How is it going in quiet? That's a big boy. <laughs> That was weird. They've established his his sound. Yeah. Since, you know, the middle of the first movie. That was kind of <laughs> weird. Ooh, they do not look like they're asleep. Pterodactyls. We haven't seen them yet. Ooh, we'll definitely see them next movie. Oh, hell yeah, we will. Because then they go crazy. <laughs> they go off. Yay. We did it. Only three more to go. So tell me about it. This movie isn't terrible. I'm definitely not at a five anymore. The one drawn out sequence and the raptor sequences are just the worst things that this movie has to offer. I don't think I'm at a five either, but I'm definitely not at anything above a seven or at a seven. I'm, I think I'm at a six. I am at a seven. Yeah, I like this movie. That middle chunk with the RV is amazing. Like actually incredible. The beginning of the movie is really good. That cut is great. The, the screaming <laughs> yeah. is amazing. Yeah. There's a lot of good stuff in here. I just, I don't know if it sticks the landing, really. There's so many ideas and there's so many things you could do with that first movie that with the second movie, especially a movie like this, it's harder. Like with the superhero movie, it's like, okay, well, there's a new threat, blah, blah, blah. You can do something with that. Mm -hmm. But with the dinosaur movie, it's like, okay, they're chasing you. <laughs> you know, it's a little harder. Yeah. Um, But yeah. It's time for the third one. I swear it's a rated R film. <laughs> we'll see. Well, there's more Jurassic Park on the way, and it starts right now. I think I've seen this just as many times as I've seen the first film. I definitely have too, when I was uh, younger. Yeah, I was like, damn, look at the Spinosaurus. That was my dude. Spoilers, but a lot of people hate that he um, kills the T-Rex. I'm kind of just like, whatever. It's not really that big a deal. He's got long ass arms. What do you mean? Of course he wins. Is this kid somebody? He's from this movie. Is that it? I have no clue. <laughs> I really like the fact that I thought that this movie was rated R the whole time. Because this is a horror movie. Like, you get the impression from the beginning it's going to be like Lost World a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that shot. But it straight up turns into a horror movie quick. See anything yet? No, no not, not yet. yet. <laughs> that comes back in the recording. What, have you seen this movie before? <laughs> years and years ago. Yeah, I haven't seen Jurassic Park 3 in a minute, but I saw it a lot as a kid. Terrifying, very cool, very bloody. Can't wait to say, wait, this is PG-13 over and over again. <laughs> Ooh, remember when the raptor puts its claw in the dude's back? That's what I'm We're saying. We're going to watch that. Yeah, that's what that's I'm crazy. saying. This is in PG-13. They're lying. We're going to crash. All right, all right. No, we're not. I'm We're gonna gonna crash. They would crash if the boat crashed? I don't know. The whole point of them being able to be up in the air like that is the movement of the boat. It's like dragging them. It's called physics, Glenn. Did you ever take that class? Actually, I didn't. I didn't either. <laughs> they were smarter than dolphins or whales. They were smarter than primates. Not smart enough to dodge a meteor, though. Fucking idiots. 
<laughs> yeah, they should have built a bunker or something. No, nah, they should have built a rocket and put miners on the rocket to drill a hole into the meteor. I asked Michael why it was easier to train oil drillers to become astronauts than it was to train astronauts to become oil drillers, and he told me to shut, shut, shut the fuck up. So that, that was the end of that talk. Hey, look, a woman wearing red in a Hollywood movie. <laughs> oh, man. No force on earth or heaven could get me on that island. This was made for kids, but also not made <laughs> for kids. <laughs> oh, it's that, that phone from that movie. What a memorable <laughs> ringtone. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Alessandro Nivola, a great actor. Most recently seen in The Many Saints in New York OV, Sopranos Gabagool. <laughs> Who made Tony Soprano? I didn't see that. I haven't either because I haven't seen The Sopranos yet. Me either. But he's in Laurel Canyon, and he plays Francis McDormand's rock star boyfriend, and Christian Bale plays Francis McDormand's son, and it's very cool. I would recommend Laurel Canyon to everybody. It's a good time. What's his name again? William H. Macy. Uh, Frank Gallagher. Yeah, he was also in Fargo, another Francis McDormand joint, where he also hires people to do bad things and then they get in trouble. Have you seen Fargo? No, I haven't. You haven't seen Fargo? Bro, what are you doing? Yeah, I know. How are we going to get accused of being film bros who only talk about big movies if you don't <laughs> watch Fargo? <laughs> I've seen Joker. You son of a bitch. Shout out to Taya Leone. She hasn't been in movies a lot recently, and she should be. How old is she, do you know? Old enough. Yeah, the last movie she was in was Tower Heist, the 2011 comedic masterpiece, Tower Heist. Oh, yeah. Okay. Directed by Nobody. Wait, they use a raptor from later in the movie that he's never even interacted with. Yeah, I was I was going to say that after this scene. <laughs> <laughs> Alan. I was like, he's never seen this kind of raptor before. He's having premonitions. It's a superhero movie. Trying to recapture that magic. This film is directed by Joe Johnston, the director of Captain America, the first Avenger. Cool. Yeah, he went on from making soulless pieces of art like this to real movies like Captain America. Be fine, you just please, don't know. Everything's gonna Frank, be fine. Please sit down, down wait. Dr. Grant, will you please sit down? Well, that was a shot. This is a Jurassic Park movie. That reaction is <laughs> the, uh, the audience to this movie, I guess. What? He says... It's a bad idea. What's, What's a, bad a bad idea? idea? <laughs> yeah. It's a Tyrannosaurus. I don't think so. Something bigger. It sounds bigger. Oh man, I got the line wrong. Damn, you suck. <laughs> I know how it feels. Oh man, we're about to find out how PG-13 this movie really is. <laughs> Bro, look, look. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> he ducked it down. He was like, oh, he's she saw me. Slasher. <laughs> he's about to put the slash and slasher in a second. Goodness. Are you telling me this is PG-13 just because they hit it? Oh, no. You're really trying to tell me the Spinosaurus isn't cool? You're really trying to tell me he wouldn't whoop the T-Rex's ass? Oh, hell no. <laughs> That's a big thing. I would literally shit myself. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so big. Oh, my it's God. Huge. <laughs> You tell me they don't bring him back for any of the Jurassic World movies? What a disappointment. Cool. This shot looks good. Damn, they're showing all this in a wide. There's no such thing as Kirby Enterprises, is there? Kirby Paint and Tile Plus. It's Kirby Paint and Tile Plus. <laughs> Plus stands for bathroom fixtures. You're not really a mercenary, are you? I never said I was. Well, that's true. What are you? Well... I'm like a booking agent. Everyone's a fucking liar. <laughs> Never can tell about people, can you? Ain't that the truth? Movie's got some uh some comedy. Yeah. Movie's like not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. So far. Yeah. Eric! Eric! This, this is Kirby. Eric! Bro, shut Kirby. up. Oh my they're so annoying. Ah, Goodness. Ah, <laughs> yelling and screaming in the middle of a dinosaur island. Fucking Great. genius. Like shut up. Women, am I right? Just all emotions <laughs> and no brains. You know, male writers, male director. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can see the eggs in the shot coming up. Yep, yeah, right there. See you? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I wonder how What's-His-Name survived all this time, eight weeks. You're going to find out. I mean, I know, but like, I'd be dead hour one. Dr. Grant, you should come look at this. Yeah, yell that. Next to the nest, you fucking idiot. Yeah, because there are so many. About to have some scrambled eggs. Have you ever had raptor before? I wish. 
probably delicious. No, nah, that's probably terrible. I shouldn't eat a raptor. You shouldn't even eat animals, period. Nah, but steak? Oh my gosh. The way the raptor looks in the thing is cool, too. Oh, and it's on the other side of the glass? Mm-hmm. And then it's like, hello. <laughs> We're doing a commentary for like five minutes in the future. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> We're not even doing it for what's going on in the moment. <laughs> I got a buck. I got a buck ten. He said, who's got some change? He's like, hello? That shit isn't even on, you fucking idiot. Cool. Cool. Ooh, the raptor looks good. Yeah, it does. Oh my gosh. That looks pretty good, minus the glass. The glass looked kind of rough when he jumped through it. Goodness. I don't know, man. I'm kind of thinking this might not be PG-13. No, he's not. No, 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 no wait, wait, something's not right. Can I help him? Women, am I right? Just making mistakes all the time. All he's got to do is the, the Chris Pratt thing, where he's like, calm down. Or you could just commit a war crime and use tear gas, like this kid right here. You know, uh, tear gas is illegal under international law. Oh, is it? Yeah, they're not supposed to be using it, but they do anyway because they're hogs. Don't the police use it too? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't get over these people just screaming like this. Music's doing its thing though right now, kind of. Yeah, I guess it is. They forgot it was a horror movie for a second. <laughs> no, because immediately after, the Spinosaurus shows up. They're like, oh, oh, were you bored? Because I, I did just get bored a little bit. This huge man just shows up, ready to slash his way through everything. Bro, we got 30 minutes left. Hey, yo, the, uh, the VFX are Goodness. holding up. Yeah, they are. Looks good. Uh-oh, never mind. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> How to break through the previous thing, but not that door. Hey, hey, hey. Why isn't it going through the roof? Couldn't, yeah, can't right? it just break the roof of the thing? I can just step on the whole building. I mean, why are we even thinking about it? Yeah, this movie lost me a little bit. When he uh, was talking with Eric and stuff. Yeah, when the kid shows up, I'm like, eh, yeah, 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 yeah. Put the dinosaurs back in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it was only like 10 minutes, though, so... It's 10 minutes too long, brother. They ain't got no time to waste. This movie's an hour 30. Exactly. <laughs> when you have movies like this, I guess the thing that I would like is that if you're trying to be a movie that is moving fast and wants to get in and get out, I think mm -hmm. unlike a normal length of movie or a longer movie, you don't have time to sit like that. And I feel like it would be better for the story and for the experience overall as an audience member if you're constantly moving and giving out information at the same time. So the character stuff and the action are parallel instead of getting in the way of each other. Mm -hmm. But what do I know? Oh no, it's the MacGuffin of the movie. The America Chavez, if you will. Can you believe it took us three movies to get one of these? Yeah, right? Oh my god, there's like two or three whole other set pieces after this. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot to do in the next 20 minutes. Dang, you really said it was slowing down and it's about to pick up real fast. Ooh, this head turn right here from the, tri what's it called? The pterodactyl. The pterodactyl, yeah. Cool. What a menace. Oh my god. <laughs> nightmare fuel. Nightmare fuel. <laughs> this is a horror movie. <laughs> this is PG-13, I guess. <laughs> is that stare not a rated R stare? I don't know, man. You tell me. <laughs> Ooh, William H. Macy with a really nice dive. Good for him. He's a swimmer, remember? Oh yeah, he got really good at swimming. You're right. It's a part of his character. Subtleties. This is a very subtle film. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is a Jurassic Park movie. Mm-hmm. Gotta have some magic. This movie's almost over. 20 minutes. Well, I guess there was 40 minutes left before when I said 30 minutes. I'm a liar. I'm a bitch-ass liar. It's the, it's the dinosaur man! Okay. Are you taking the phone to mom? Ooh. You ever seen Jaws? Oh, yeah. I saw that movie that one time. Oh, that Spinosaurus looks so good. He took a break. Oh, well, no. Yeah, he took a break. He was like, fuck you. I'll go when I feel like it. That looks so good. It really does. We really do be taken for granted good visual effects. My goodness. See how it's being used as a tool and it's not the whole cake, you know? <laughs> Looked great. Did this movie could not get nominated that year for best visual effects? Not one Academy Award nomination for visual effects. What was nominated? Pearl Harbor, AI, and Fellowship of the Ring. 
I guess. Whatever. Probably should have added a couple more films. Probably should have added this one. The winner was Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring, but that orc scene is awful. <laughs> it looks like doo-doo. Everybody get down. They look really good. Wow, look at these visual effects. Are you <laughs> telling me that orc fight in Fellowship looks better than this? No, it does not. Well, I guess it was mostly for like the perspective and seeing how big they made Ian McKellen and how small they made everyone else and blah, blah, blah. But like best visual effects is like, to me, I guess, who has the most seamless visual effects throughout? And come on, this ain't a nominee. The Academy is just stupid. They're stupid and old. And when you get old, you get real dumb. No, 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 call for help. He speaks raptor? <laughs> okay, that's pretty stupid. I mean, I guess he should know how to do that. But does he know how to speak their language? That's kind of sus. <laughs> that's like in Finding Nemo when he's like... You speak whale? Uh, we offended him. Maybe a different dialect. No. Dory. Hell yeah, Holy brother. Holy shit, they brought out everybody for what? Kill some dinosaur commies. Hell yeah, brother. I love being connected. That's the only way to get things done in America. It's not about the goodness of your heart. It's about... Do I know you? <laughs> I love living in America. Oh, I'm not shoot him down. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got some bogeys on our right. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> and Eric smiles. Yeah, that's right. And then Alan puts on his hat and it goes. Da, na, na. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. In the first film, they were in a private plane being escorted by pelicans, and now they're in military outfits, and now they're being escorted by pterodactyls. They have evolved. That's right. We buy semi-automatics, they buy automatics. We buy Kevlar, they buy armor-piercing rounds. And then there's you. You wear a mask, jumping off rooftops. <laughs> 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 All right, we did it. From what I remember, not as terrible as how the fans make it seem. Effects were great most of the time. It's a whatever movie. It's above average, I think. Roger Ebert gave this a 75. He said, not as awe-inspiring as the first film or as elaborate as the second, but in its own B-movie type of way, it's a nice little thrill machine. Okay, I agree. Yeah. Spinosaurus was cool, the raptors were cool, the pterodactyls were cool, the visual effects were cool. Yeah, the middle just has like this weird lull. And I liked what they were doing in the beginning in terms of the buildup. And it, this movie is just a lot. <laughs> a lot in so little time. Yeah, we're at 127 and we're still in the credits. Yeah, I think if the camera moves were a lot more elaborate and there was stuff like that throughout the film, not copying Steven Spielberg or anything, because, you know, this is the third movie in a franchise that should have just only been one movie. But... Yeah, I'm uh, I'm at a 6 out of 10. Me too. Cool. I'm about to be bored out of my mind. I hope you are because there's more Jurassic Park on the way and it starts right now. No! This looks clear. Yeah, it's CGI now. They fly now! This is a legendary picture, I forgot. It's a legendary picture, but this picture was not legendary, let me tell you what. So... It was to some people. It was to me for a hot second. I remember when this film first came out, you did not like it that much. And I was like, what are you talking about? I hated it. This was fun. This was a good time. This was one of my first Phantom Menace experiences. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, this was like the major Phantom Menace film for me. And then BVS sort of broke my brain and now I hate everything, so... Oh, that's fun. A CGI pigeon or whatever. I don't know what birds are. Did you get it, though? It was supposed to be a dinosaur. His poster literally just says robots on it. It's not even like a specific robot. What's her name? Do you remember? That's Laurie Strode's daughter. And isn't that uh, Simon? Yeah, that's Love Simon. Isn't that the boss in The Office? I forgot his name. But I'm not here to talk about that. I am here to talk about Suck It. Suck It. Hey, look, a woman wearing red in a movie in Hollywood again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So much for our last family breakfast. Why do you have to say things like that? So this is the second Jurassic Park movie in a row. With divorced parents? Jurassic Park 3's influence is just unmatched. I'm still curious as to how they like got this place back. Oh, look at this gross CGI, but whatever. Well, I mean, this isn't CGI. This is a place. This is real. She was reading Ian Malcolm's book. Did you see that? No, I didn't, but I did see this unearned nostalgia moment here. Can he slow down? Can the CGI in the background slow down? 
Cool. Damn, did I just get goosebumps? I don't even like this movie. <laughs> no, this is the part of the movie where I was like, this movie's gonna be great. John Williams really do be doing that, though. It's really unfair. <laughs> it's all his fault. When I first saw the movie, I was like, I'm so excited to watch this. It was cool. Yeah, that shot went nowhere, though. That was kind of disappointing. Like, it started off okay, and then it just... It didn't go anywhere. What the fuck? No one's impressed by a dinosaur anymore. Shut up. <laughs> That's so stupid. How are you going to bring back dinosaurs from extinction and say, oh, nobody's impressed with that anymore? When there's literally motherfuckers everywhere. Look, they're literally everywhere. Oh, wait, it's Wong. He, uh... No, it's Wu. Oh, dang. See, we made this mistake three movies ago. His name is Wu, <laughs> Dr. Wu. We just saw a movie with a guy named Wong. And this guy's real name is Wong. It's an easy mistake to make. I wonder if people clapped when he uh, showed up. The Samsung Innovation Center, kill me. Oh, it's that thing from the but, first one. Oh, I know what that is. It's Dino DNA. A callback. Cool. Bryce Dallas Howard kind of looks uh, good. You mean she's a woman in a Hollywood film? <laughs> in a movie? <laughs> yeah. That's an observation for sure. Just enough stability to keep it from collapsing into anarchy. You mean chaos, like that movie? Oh, wait. Rest in peace to this guy. Oh, yeah, he did die. Oh, man. Like in real life. Man, we're just putting music in places where it doesn't belong. <laughs> it's a helicopter landing. It reminds you of the past. It was such a bland shot. They obviously put the music there because they're like, what is this shot? Like, what are we doing here? Where's the sibling? She ate it. Ooh, that means she's dangerous. Maybe we should just kill it now. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know. It kind of looked computer generated. That was a bad shot too. Charlie, hey, don't give me that shit. Oh, it's Charlie. I know who that is. You do? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking naming raptors. Get the fuck out of here. We spent three movies establishing them as these dangerous beasts. Now they are pets. Oh my god, look, it's Star-Lord meeting Kingpin. Oh my god, I'm a hog. You made them and now you think you own them. We do own them. Why do you need to use raptors when you can just use an AR-15? They want to do the most colonialism and the most damage with the least amount of blowback. So they don't want Americans to die and they don't want to spend money on healthcare for soldiers. That's what drones are for. Wouldn't these count though as American labs? Animals aren't people. You motherfuckers eat cheeseburgers all the time. Are cows people? You guys don't give a fuck. <laughs> I guess so. You guys put chickens, like 30 chickens to a cage, and you're like, fuck those chickens. I'll eat them and their fucking <laughs> eggs. It's an omelet. Put some cheese on it, too. It looks so fake. I hate it. CGI is fun, and I love not having any fear of danger. Why does Jurassic Park 3's raptors look better? It makes no sense. They could have literally just used a real raptor. Yeah, they could have just made a real raptor. <laughs> they could have just had okay, raptors a real breed. Raptor, but like a... An animatronic. Why didn't they just make a raptor like in how they did in the movie? Why didn't they just do genetics? High key though, they probably have the money to do that. How much does it cost to make a raptor? Ten dollars? No, Alex not having a bachelor party. Because all his friends are animals. So she was gonna get married and now she's dead. I would sue Jurassic World, be like, you took the love of my life away from me. I would sue Jurassic World for having no real dinosaurs at this park. <laughs> Why is everything CGI? It really does depend on who's making the movie. Colin Trevorrow's last movie before this was like some indie film, and he had never made a movie like this before. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. He probably wanted to use practical effects, but he probably got bullied into being like, well, it's faster and cheaper if we just do it in CG, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I guarantee it. And now he's stuck in that hog mentality because I'm sure Jurassic World Dominion looks exactly the same. Ooh, Jurassic World brought to you by Coca-Cola. He drinks Coca-Cola out of the bottle. He works on motorcycles. He's good with animals. He's a real man's man. Man. Look at this fake stadium. Ooh, that background. What the hell? <laughs> Isn't it ironic that um, we had a Mosasaurus eat a shark when this film is basically bastardizing the original film, which was made by Steven Spielberg, who did Jaws, yeah. which started off this whole fucking fiasco of blockbusters in the first place. <laughs> fiasco of blockbuster. Just chewing it to pieces, and look at the hogs. They're gleefully <laughs> They're it. clapping. With siblings. They learn social skills, and I imprint on them when they're born. Oh, he imprints on them, just like Jacob imprinted on Bella and Edward's baby? What? Did you see Twilight? I saw the first movie, and that's it. I'm keeping myself pure for when we watch oh, it. Oh, man. <laughs> I spoiled so much. That was a shot. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't? That looks so fake. That was something. 
That was not it, Chief. I did not enjoy that. Yuck! They're actually touching it, but I think they added CGI to it. It looks like they didn't do anything. <laughs> it literally just looks like CGI. It looks like the Tom Holland suit. Why did they, they shouldn't have put CGI on it. They should have just kept it. You're preaching to the choir, brother. Oh, he has a stupid line coming up. I remember. <laughs> we'll see it. Hold on. Oh, a practical effect. How would it know to do that? She remembered where they put it in. Damn, that thing is thick. That's a big tracking implant. Yeah, why don't they put a smaller one so that she doesn't remember where they put it in? What if they put it in like an IUD or something and then she can't literally claw it out because that would be bad. <laughs> that was the line. Why don't they have guns? They don't want to kill it because uh, money. Yeah, but why don't they have guns? <laughs> Oh, are you bored? Me too. Oh, it's my favorite character from Jurassic Park, Wong. He's back. It's Dr. Wu. Stop it. <laughs> God damn it. I, I literally forgot. I know you're trying, but you need to try harder. Tree frogs can modulate their infrared output. You motherfuckers are using frogs still? Like that worked last time? Hey there. I'm Jimmy Fallon. Welcome oh, look. Yuck. Also, Christopher Walken joins Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya in Dune Part 2. Wait, who? Christopher Walken. Oh, okay. In his ass. We gotta, we gotta go, go to Dune in his ass. <laughs> we put the spice in his in ass. His ass. <laughs> <laughs> cool. This is what it's all about. Dinosaurs fighting. Ooh, it's that shot from the previous movie, except it's fake. Oh, this is a practical effect, I remember. Well, it's half practical. I think only the head is the practical thing. Yeah, you can really tell. <laughs> it looked like garbage. I love how disconnected the actors are from the practical effect because we keep shooting to their singles. It's very awesome. I love that they all get their own close-up instead of putting them all in one thing. We can see them emoting. And maybe we can cut to their singles after. Like here, this would be a good time to cut to. But fuck it, we've been using this shot over and over again because we shot it. So we have to use it, right? We have to. Da -na 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 -na. And that's Universal bringing this franchise back and butchering it. We're beating a dead horse until it's fucking dead, brother. Or like beating a dead dinosaur, brother. <laughs> We're killing franchises for sport. It's killing for sport. And in the process, we learn something. They follow orders. How did he come to that conclusion that the raptors can kill the Indominus? He hasn't. He's just betting. <laughs> he, he's a hog. I mean, I know for a fact, it is definitely not out there. All right? Totally safe. Here. This movie is so tiring. I want to go to bed. Anybody who is someone with power, and if one of them or one of their family members just so happens to stumble across this video, and they need to take one lesson from this video, stop making these movies. Stop it. <laughs> Make something new with new exciting filmmakers. You saw how earlier in this video we were like literally creaming over Steven Spielberg's filmmaking. Yeah, you should hire those people to make real movies because... <laughs> <laughs> That's really exciting. The camera doesn't really do anything in this movie, except for literally this idea that they've done like 10 times already in this film. <laughs> oh, the Adominus is right there. I hope they don't move or make a sound. And that's literally it over and over again. Oh no, the billionaire is dead. <laughs> but he's dead IRL, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, it is kind of, yeah. But hey, he was alive when this movie came out, so billionaire character, not person, is dead from his own hubris. Ew, why are people drinking Dasani water? Oh, there we go. Here we go. Colin Trevorrow be like, I really hate assistance. <laughs> I hate it when people do thankless jobs. You hear that stock running sound effect or that stock stampede sound effect? Watch your six. Raptors got a new alpha. Alphas aren't even a real thing. This is dumbass pseudoscience. It's not real. All packs, from wolves to killer whales, they all respond directly to an alpha. And this is not true either. This has been debunked. Why are they treating this like science? I hate this movie, dude. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it, dude. This movie's dumb. <laughs> this is definitely like 12 year old boy schlock. Run, Forrest. Run right now. Run right now. He's not a good guy. He's a bad guy. Run. Remember the T Rex clocks in at 32 miles an hour? 
Yeah, right? <laughs> yes, let's highlight the fact that she's outrunning a T-Rex in high heels. Fucking awesome. That's a shot, I guess. Ew, that looks awful. Fake CGI, yeah, cool. Didn't the T-Rex lose the last fight against the... Are they apologizing for Jurassic Park 3? Is that what's happening right now? That's what this whole thing is. But it's weird, though, because the T-Rex loses until the raptor comes in. But people didn't mind that? I guess they're happy that it lasts longer than the other fight. I guess. Oh my god, it's blue! Ew, did you see that slow motion with the water? That looked awful in the background. Yeah, it looks bad. This whole thing looks bad. <sighs> yeah, me too. Oh. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Lighting. Yeah, center, they're trying. Finally. They're trying here. Wow, finally a shot. They really have one good shot in this movie. Ew, it looks terrible. It looks bad. Do you think T-Rexes were just going around screaming like that? Like fucking crazy people? I don't know. That's what I do. So I wish you could rate movies like tired out of 10. This movie has no reason to exist. Yes, it does. Didn't you see the box office returns? Yeah, this is one of the highest grossing films of all time. I'm pretty sure it's in the top 10. It is in the top 10. I'm pretty sure it's like number eight or some shit. I'm beginning to hate this movie a little bit. The whole, its existence alone is offensive, but what it does in the movie is just so bland and boring. I just, I don't care. I don't care either. I'm ready to never watch this movie ever again. Yeah. At this point in the video, if you remember all the things that we were gushing over in the first film and think about how little we talked about the actual what the camera was doing throughout this one and what the movie was doing throughout, then that's the answer to your question to how I feel. I mean, but how do you give a fuck about a fourth Jurassic Park movie, to be honest? <laughs> Three out of ten? Four out of ten? I don't know. I'm at a three. The next one is the, the worst one, so let's do it. Say the line, Bart. There's more Jurassic Park on the way, and it starts right now. <laughs> it's the last film, if you could even call this a film. We finally did it. Yep, We're we here. did it. Dinosaurs. We did it. Uh, this is the film. We've reviewed this movie already in the past. And someone got very, very, very upset about it. But to reward you for getting this far, we have a giveaway. What? A giveaway in the Ooh, middle of a commentary? A giveaway? Yeah, we hit a thousand Ooh. subscribers. And you know, for as long as this channel's existed, we've constantly been telling you, hey, other people make movies. And so what we decided is that it would be really cool if we gave away a code to one of the most artistic mind-blowing aesthetically oh shit hold on it's loud now good lord this movie's loud <laughs> <laughs> one of the most aesthetically revolutionary films of all time uh and it came out last year it's called spider-man no way home you might have heard of it that's right so you've made it this far and we're gonna give you a word to say in the comments and once you comment mm -hmm. that word, the first person to do it, we're going to hit you with that code, and then you can download the film. So, what's that word going to be? We haven't decided yet. <laughs> what's that word going to be? Maybe, maybe Spinosaurus in all caps. Spinosaurus in all caps, but that's in the third film. Someone might do that by accident. Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. What's in this movie that's like... Oh, what about clones? Because, like... What's it called? Well, no, actually. <laughs> They're going to be like watching the video of saying like, what's the code? Tell me so I can type <laughs> it in right now. I'm going to leave in all these suggestions and then some hog will be like, I'm going to type it in immediately. <laughs> I want Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, hmm. I guess we'll just leave you in suspense until we agree on a word. Yeah. <laughs> um, what if we had someone comment Norman's on sabbatical, honey? Because that's what norman says in spider-man no way home all right so type in norman's on sabbatical comma honey period and then we'll give you the code that you desire you're welcome and you'll have spider-man no way home in your digital collection speaking of digital collection you own these movies right like i do irl yeah i do own these movies what was the process for that like did you just you bought it and you said i want it or you were just like no i bought it for content <laughs> are you kidding you think i want to own jurassic world fallen kingdom on purpose i kind of like gave up after i first saw this movie Look at that fake t-rex this film is directed by j a bayona who is a very good director who did this film called the impossible from 2012 starring tim roth 
Naomi Watts, and uh, this young kid named Tom Holland. You might have never heard of him before. Ooh, I And I thought, oh, wow, this movie's going to be good now because mm-hmm. we're going to have a real director. This is going to be like the last Jedi of Jurassic World movies. But, uh, nope. I mean, I guess the lighting's pretty okay on yeah, the this lighting's good. CGI creature. But, um, I don't know. I'm kind of over just the fake stuff. Very nice to know they did that same exact bit from the first film. <laughs> Again? Ooh, what is this? Oh, God. Oh, uh, God. Title card? Yeah, whoa. <laughs> That's never been in a Jurassic movie before. <laughs> Was there, like, a clipped frame? Right? The logo went black for, like, a frame, and then they cut to this. That was really weird. Activist groups have mobilized around the globe in what has become the flashpoint animal... What? Save our dinos. Awesome. Great. Nah, dude. I'm pretty sure... (laughs) I'd be surprised if even PETA was like, yo, these animals should exist. Don't they know how they were created? Oh, wait. Look. (sighs) Ian Malcolm. I forgot his name for a second. When I saw this movie in theaters, people clapped when he showed up. So our mission here at the Dinosaur Protection Group is to secure federal funding for... Y'all want federal funding for the preservation of something that a private company did? Shut up. Get out of here. I'm about to get really upset. They want to do politics, and now I'm going to talk about politics, and then people are going to get upset that I'm being political on this political YouTube channel named after a political film. I love making the same joke. Someone in the comments is going to say, shut up. Yeah, we literally just got that recently. Some hog. I, we actually had a couple of hogs. Can you stop with the politics? I love this channel, but I watch this stuff to escape that. And I was like, no. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> I watch movies that are political to escape politics. <laughs> but this isn't political to them. It's just dinosaurs and eating people and boom, boom. Fucking children, I swear to God. You, you remember? Yes. Wow, cool. <laughs> he, uh, he wanted someone young and uh, idealistic to spend his fortune. And I used to be both. (laughs) One of our main criticisms is how similar this film is to The Lost World, Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. Like, this guy's literally that British balding fellow who gets eaten by the T-Rex at the end, the the main villain. One of my favorite recent comments uh, has been, I'm new here. Are the commentators gay? (laughs) Is that really a thing? That's real. That was two (laughs) days ago. (laughs) What fools we were. Trying to run before we'd learn to walk. Wait, does he have a British accent now? I thought he didn't. Did John Hammond have a British accent? Yeah, he's British. My bloody medicines. Not as posh in it. My bloody medicines in it. Instead of asking if we're gay, you should ask, are they British? That's wild, though. People said, I I watch these things to escape. Hello? Do people not know, like, (laughs) what movies are? I mean, thanks for saying they're great, but movies are all political. Sorry. Hold on. Which video did she comment on? I'm pretty sure it's a she. Sounded like a she to me. Maybe I'm misgendering, brother. It was on our BVS video, which is literally (laughs) about, Oh, man. (laughs) Isn't there, like, CNN and stuff in that movie? Like, It's more overtly political than any of the other films that we've talked about. It has, like, politicians as main characters in the movie. <laughs> you don't want me to talk about politics? Superman and Batman and Lex Luthor represent political ideologies. Like, are you on crack? This whole series that we're watching is about environmentalism and capitalism. And the thing that the first film was warning us against is literally what this series has become in a meta way. <laughs> but the dinosaurs. Like, John Hammond was trying to franchise a 65 million year old extinct species and now this series is trying to franchise a 30 year old film that was really good that one time like how we're like not even watching the movie we're just talking about the channel and how people are stupid yeah look at this shot reverse shot diagonal angle 50 millimeter lens so innovative yeah you spent years of your life working with her you're just gonna let her die Well, yeah. Based. Like, if we're going to talk politics really quick, the people who would be for the animals dying are conservatives uh, because they're hogs Mm -hmm. and uh, they have no empathy. And then the people who are overtly for this while blindly not understanding the consequences of what's happening are liberals. And I'm not talking about socialists. I'm talking about, like, centrist libs who, like, only care about optics and, you know, kneel for George Floyd in a kente cloth like Nancy Pelosi. Those are the people who would be for saving the dinosaurs. And then there are leftists 
who would not be for this because this is a catastrophe started by a private company who thought that they had more control over life than they originally thought and they fucked this up and that is their fucking problem and they should fix it and they should all be in jail and rot because they're responsible for deaths yeah that is the spectrum of thought here and then there are ultra hogs we'll see later in the film who want to you know sell for profit continue the franchise they said that this was the only island with dinosaurs on in the beginning i think but that's not true. That's not true. That's a lie. He is lying to you. Hey, it's uh, Buffalo Bill. Oh, yeah. So I think it's interesting that uh, we got the nephew character from Lost World, who's the bad guy. We even got John Hammond being sick and dying in this movie. And we also got the militia. Yeah, the militia guys from the second movie as well. It's the same movie again. But then it becomes a haunted house film. I'm genuinely wondering if any of these directors have actually seen Jurassic Park recently. The camera's like not doing a whole lot. It's very generic. The lighting's good. I like the lighting. The lighting's been consistent throughout. The most movement is like just this boring lateral tracking thing that's like just exteriors. It's literally just this shot over and over again. That one had a purpose though. Hey, this, this. We have to be in awe again. Remember in Jurassic Park 2 when Ian Malcolm was like, oh, first there's oohs and ahs, and then there's running and screaming. It's funny because in Jurassic Park 3, there were no oohs and ahs, were there? They were just looking for... It was just screaming, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it that was started pretty, off that was bad, bad immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it has to feel like a Jurassic Park movie, which means we have to have this <laughs> scene of a brachiosaur eating something someone crying and then there's yeah exactly there's running and screaming and it looks pretty good yeah it looks good it looks better than the t-rex at night i think did it <laughs> i think so no i'm genuinely asking i'm not being sarcastic yeah it did it did i don't know if it was in the first film or the second film but in these two recent ones they shot this in widescreen for some reason and it should be full screen mm-hmm like, I want to see more. I want it to fill the screen. No blockbusters should be shot in letterbox at all. It should all be full screen. No anamorphic lenses, fellas. That's my gripe with the MCU films most of the time. Avengers 2012 was peak. In terms of the aspect ratio, not like how it looks, because that movie looks like a television show, not gonna lie. Also, I'm not as soft and witless as your comment implies. Let's go, beefcake. Feminism, yuck. Ugh. That's what that's what some guy did in the theater. He said, Why the women have to be so strong? Raptor looks good as hell. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh hell no, that's kinda terrifying. He was definitely tranked with like a tranquilizer that could take down a dinosaur though, right? This is his Wolf of Wall Street moment where he takes too many quaaludes. What is this music choice? I don't know if this music's really meeting the moment. No, it feels like a cartoon. Yeah, it feels too silly. The pivotal moment in the Jurassic franchise where the island gets destroyed. Remember in the Lost World when they captured all those dinosaurs? And it took way too long. Those people that saw the truck come on, they're not gonna question who's in it? They didn't even react. Right? Are they reacting to this? Now they're reacting to... What are they reacting to? Okay, the camera's moving. They're just looking at the dinosaur about to die, I think. They just ignored that they jumped on there, that they were left behind. Okay. Whatever. Oh no, the dinosaur died. It did the same position it did in the first movie when we saw it for the first time. Oh no, nostalgia, thank you. We had this whole moment where we completely ignored the fact that they jumped onto the ship in a moving vehicle. And nobody cared. Very fun. Good job, movie, you did it. This guy looks exactly like Donald Trump when he's golfing. <laughs> yeah, he does. I see what you're doing, movie. It's not political, though. No, it's not. No, 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 of course not. I mean, I think they actually made an animatronic here. This one's much better than what they did in the last film. Oh, no, but she cries. I remember. Oh, God. Please tell me you got the blood. Ew. That's a lot Man, of blood. Lot. Good Lord. Well, I guess they ain't going back for seconds. But um Damn, it just cried. How do you feel? It's fucking stupid. Oh, uh, Mr. Wong. His name is Dr. Wu. Why do you keep getting it wrong? <laughs> God damn. We, we've recorded this, you know, days apart, but come on, man. It's because he's my favorite Jurassic character. So it will be genetically coded to recognize her authority and assume her traits. Empathy, obedience, everything the prototype you have now is missing. Okay, so how long is this? This man saw the fall of Jurassic World 
because of the hands of a genetically engineered dinosaur and said, oh, let me leave and make another one and see what happens. He was like yelling at Resvani or whatever the dude's name is because... Because he was making a, a pig-headed decision and now he's like, nah, fuck it. Oh yeah, that song, the evil yeah, we're bad guys. Yeah, yeah, song. I've been I've been thinking about I forgot that. About that. <laughs> we <laughs> are so evil, goddamn evil. You think I forgot? <laughs> I edited that video, brother. <laughs> I forgot all about that. We are so evil, evilest men of them all. I can't freaking believe we went from one of the most iconic film scores of all time to this awful rendition of evil bad guys doing evil bad guy things. Take your own damn samples. What a nasty woman. He called her a nasty woman, and that's what Donald Trump called Hillary Clinton at the 2016 debate, and that became a whole thing. So motherfuckers will watch this and be like, stop being political when the movie itself is being more overtly <laughs> political. Like every movie is political, but this one's like making a statement. It's like peak liberalism and the bad guys are all hogs and both sides are wrong for different reasons. I'm on Ian Malcolm's side. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's a girl wearing red in a movie. <laughs> oh, man. He's getting his uh, Schindler's list on. It's a little girl this time. We call it... The Indoraptor, the perfect weapon of the modern age, built for combat. How is it the perfect weapon for combat when you have to train it and upkeep it and feed it and clean it? Yeah, right? What are you talking about? They will literally say anything in a Jurassic Park sequel, not gonna lie. He's a prototype. This prototype is worth $28 million right now. Relax, we'll make some more. See how they're rushing a product? To make a quick profit? Remember in The Lost World when they released a dinosaur onto the unsuspecting malicious? Take that, the rich. Oh, what are you gonna do, huh? We're gonna stop this. All of it. How? What, are you gonna go back in time before Hammond decided to play God? You can't put it back in the box! We have to try. It's you could have put it back in the box by letting the volcano do the thing. It was literally being put back in the box. You see that? That's hydrogen cyanide. If it reaches the containment level, it'll kill them all. Good. Right? Just let it, it's happening. Nature keeps happening and you keep getting in the way, okay? I don't know, this is kind of like a pro-life movie. Low-key, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just in time. Just in time for Roe v. Wade. Oh wait, that's political too. Sorry, no. She went to bed? <laughs> She's tired. Me too, I'm tired of these movies existing. <laughs> Maybe don't stay in the bed. Maybe get her out of the room. Yeah, right, run away. Whoa, 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 did you see that? It hit the glass, and then... They did it again. That was dumb. That was, that's editing, baby. How about you let out all the herbivores, and let the carnivores just die? I'd be okay with that. Be selective. Me too. If you really care. I'm an Ian Malcolm stan. I'm standing. Oh wait, someone else does it instead, right? Do you remember who? It's the clone, it's the little girl, yeah. Yeah. Damn, is this the first Clone Lives Matter movie? The pterodactyl. Oh, the pterodactyls back. are back. It's been so long. God, good lord. <laughs> oh, it's that shot again. Yeah. We can't help ourselves. Nostalgia. It has to feel like a Jurassic Park movie. Welcome to Jurassic World. Well, here we are. He said the line. Ooh, listen to that iconic Jurassic Park theme in the back, too. You being sarcastic? Yeah, I am being <laughs> sarcastic. <laughs> oh, it's actually here now this time. I don't even know what to say. I don't I don't even care about this movie at all. Like not even a little bit. This movie's a cartoon. It's boring. Some of the lighting was nice and cool. The ideas are all right. The ideas it presents in its story. I like how it sets up the next one. You like how it sets up the next one and it's not its own movie? Yeah, which it's like dinosaurs roam in the real world. That's cool. That's actually like a Jurassic world. 
Yeah, but why didn't they just do that? They have to pull you in for, to make a filler episode of a movie. That's what this movie is. It's just a filler episode. Those uh, those clips that we were just talking about at the end that were used in the trailer kind of remind me of the last shot of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, where they were like, oh, this <laughs> yeah. is like a teaser for something else that's going to happen in the movie, but that's literally it. Do you have anything else you want to say? Um, I never want to watch it again. I never have to, which is great. The effects, some of the effects were okay, like the practical stuff. And that's it on my end. Yeah, this movie's boring. It borrows so much from the Lost World. Every situation that these characters are put in are just not interesting. I kind of feel bad for the actors because they have to know that they're in like the not good ones, right? I just don't know why these films exist. Look at their box office return, that's why. Yeah, 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 I know that. But like, I don't know how as an artist you can be consciously critiquing the idea of franchising something that shouldn't be franchised like dinosaurs. But then when you're making this movie about it, you're not being self-aware. Like it shouldn't be like, you know, tongue in cheek like Deadpool, but there should be something there like in the subtext of the whole thing. But it's not really there. This movie, in comparison to the last one, stepped it up a little bit in terms of the visuals. The music, I feel like, got worse. For sure. I mean, it was so generic, and nothing notable was introduced except for that really cartoony motif that we were making fun of earlier. And I know I gave it a two last time in the review, but I might give it a three just because it's more well-lit than I remember. And Jurassic World kind of looked meh. I think they might be equally bad, but for just different reasons. I don't know. I'm thinking about it still. What do you think? Well, I'm still at a two. We're watching this out of obligation, not because we want to. Yeah, exactly. We wanted to watch the other ones, but if we're going to watch the other ones, we might as well just watch these. So, but yeah, I'm either, I'm in between a two and a three. I'll figure it out when I'm editing. I'm very indecisive. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wait, a post credit scene? Oh, no. I didn't know this was a thing. Did you know this was a thing? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I had no idea. How would you rank the Jurassic, all the Jurassic Park movies? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to say that after rewatching Jurassic Park 3, I like it. And I think it's like, it's fun. <laughs> it's underrated. It's something I can actually watch and enjoy. It's its own movie. It is so distinctly mm-hmm. its own movie, which Jurassic Park also was. And then Lost World was directed by the same person. So like, it's going to feel similar to the first film in some ways. Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom feel like a symptom of a larger problem with just Hollywood directors now that wasn't as much of a problem back then. And I know it's like weird to make those kind of absolute generalizations. And sure, you had bland movies, you know, every year. But even like filmmakers who weren't making great movies like made choices that were interesting. And no one is making choices here And it's just like, it's like the absence of choice. Like all these movies feel the same. When Martin Scorsese said that thing about Marvel and then he wrote his op-ed in the New York Times about the response to what he said, he said something that like hit me like a truck. Let's see. Some say that Hitchcock's pictures had a sameness to them. Perhaps that's true. Hitchcock himself wondered about it. But the sameness of today's franchise pictures is something else. Again, many of the elements that define cinema as I know it are there in Marvel pictures. What What's not there is revelation, mystery, or genuine emotional danger. Nothing is at risk. The pictures are made to satisfy a specific set of demands, and they are designed as variations of a finite number of themes. They are sequels in name, but they are remakes in spirit. And everything in them is officially sanctioned because it can't really be any other way. That's the nature of modern film franchises. Market research, audience tested, vetted, modified, re-vetted, and re-modified until they are ready for consumption. Another way of putting it would be that they are everything that the films of Paul Thomas Anderson or Claire Denis or Spike Lee or Ari Aster or Catherine Bigelow or Wes Anderson are not. When I watch a movie by any of those filmmakers, I know I'm going to see something absolutely new and be taken to unexpected and maybe even unnameable areas of experience. My sense of what is possible in telling stories with moving images and sounds is going to be expanded. So you might ask, what is my problem? Why not just let superhero films and other franchise films be? The reason is simple. In many places around this country and around the world, franchise films are now your primary choice if you want to see something on the big screen. It's a perilous time in film exhibition, and there are fewer independent theaters than ever. The equation has flipped, and streaming has become the primary delivery system. Still, I don't know a single filmmaker who doesn't want to design films for the big screen to be projected before audiences and theaters. And then he goes on and on and on. But the idea is 
is that if we keep getting fed this sameness, when people actually try, like in the case of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, people are going to react in a way that they shouldn't be. They should be excited about these uh, aesthetic changes, but they fucking don't. Martin Scorsese was kind of spitting there. Not going to lie. He is spitting. <laughs> I would recommend that everyone read that article. Link that in the bio real quick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to put that in the bio so everyone can read it. It's not very long, but he, he does go on about films that you've probably never heard of before or filmmakers that you've never heard before. And if that part puts you off when you're reading it, just add those filmmakers to your watch list and try something new. And the reason why we, I guess I'm speaking for both of us, but the reason why we, uh, you know, we go on and on about watching other filmmakers, yet we make videos about the same bullshit that everyone else is making is because they're not saying this. They're just saying, oh, it's bad. But like, what's the solution? You're creating your own habits like your own viewing habits determine how you're going to feel when somebody tries something new and i feel like we should all mm -hmm. be excited when people try something new and when you see something you've never seen before or you haven't seen in a while do you have anything else you want to say sorry i just tangented for a while and our new audience doesn't like how i tangent on even though it's relevant to the conversation uh no but jurassic worlds and parks one two three four five that's it all right. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you agree or disagree, tell us in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. Do all the things. And bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. You have to get past the Avengers and Marvel shit at some point, okay? Other people make movies.